the front line in the search for the missing universe is here in the far north of England, at the bottom of a mine. Europe's deepest mine produces salt and potash, but these men aren't interested in all that. They're preparing to travel a mile into the Earth's crust to discover what's going on in space. They've been coming here for 16 years and have spent millions on scientific hardware. They're on the hunt for a brand new particle. It's uh, kind of surreal looking for a fundamental particle down a mine. Do you ever feel you're wasting your time? Oh, no, not, not, not at all, because the, the basic question that we're trying to explore by, by, by this... Uh, by these experiments is so fundamental to physics and cosmology that uh, um, one would go to almost any length to try and solve this puzzle. But the business of uncovering the stuff of the missing universe can be a frustrating one. The practicalities and the difficulties of doing these experiments and the care with which you have to do them, you know, um, dictate that things unfortunately do happen rather more slowly. The stakes are enormous. If the problem is solved in the mine, the universe will be instantly understood and Nobel Prizes will be thick on the ground. Unsurprisingly, then, the world's deep mines are full of scientists looking for stuff with which to fill the universe. The hunt has been in full swing since the 1970s. <laughs> 